You know, when uh, Card Flows first launched, I was really excited because for the first time, we had a software that allowed us to build sales funnels on our WordPress website. Now, there are a few things that I wish I could have seen right in the beginning when they first launched, but you know what? They have delivered, and this is what we're going to be talking about in today's video, coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new update from Cutflows and this is going to be a UI overhaul. It's really exciting. I can't wait to show you. But before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Cutflows using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my sales funnel mastery course. The course that teaches you how to use Cutflows and also how to build sales funnels on your WordPress website. All right, let's dive in and let's take a look at Cutflows. All right, so when we take a look here, this is pretty much what you have. I'm working on the beta version, but this is going to be out very, 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 very soon. Okay, so over here you can see this is our main dashboard for card flows. And to be honest, there isn't much really going on here except this video, right? And ideally, and this is what I suggested uh, earlier on when I spoke to uh, the team over at Cardflows, that since Cardflows is a uh, sales funnel software, ideally you want to see some stats on how your funnels are performing. And you know what? They delivered. And I'm really excited about this. So this is probably what you have right now, but the updated now UI is looking like this. So as you can see here, we have this hello, and then your name will show up here. But the most important part is we have our stats overview. This is the bird's eye view on what is happening on your website. I'm sure you'll agree with me that knowing how your funnels are performing is the first thing you want to see when you go on the dashboard. And you know what? They delivered. It's clean. It's very simple. And I love the way it's been laid out. So here it shows today by default, but you can also go to yesterday. You can also go to last week and also go to last month. So how this works is this will give you your total revenue, right? This will give you your order bump revenue. Now the offers revenue is a combination of your upsell sales, down sales, and so on, this would come up over here. So this is really, really good. So you may be saying, well, Mac, why can't I just look at my WooCommerce stats? Well, the problem with the WooCommerce stats is it doesn't really show you your order bumps, your upsells, your down sales, and so on. It just shows you your products. Okay. And pretty much that's it. And to be honest, it's a bit clunky. There's a lot going on there, but this is much more elegant. It's very, very clean. And I like the way it is looking right now. Now, when we take a look here at uh, the old uh, cut flows dashboard, if we wanted to move away from this, we would need to come over here to the left and click on flows to go into our flows. But if you take a look here now at um, the new UI update, we have this navigation here on the top. And I really like this because I don't have to go anywhere else. Everything is right here on this specific page. So if I click here on flows, guess what? Straight away, I go onto my funnels here and I can then drill in and go into each and every specific funnel that I want to go into. And over here as well, we can import our funnels, we can export all on this page. Now, again, if I come back over here, you can see here the UI is uh, much, much better uh, on the new updated version here. Now, over here, it just looked at it. it now, over here, it looked like way too much like a part of WordPress, if you know what I mean. It didn't look like it was a separate software that we were using in WordPress. It just looked like it was a part of WordPress. So there wasn't really... Uh, in my opinion, a lot of attention to uh, detail in terms of uh, making this look really, really nice. So when you look here, you can see this is very clean. I like the white space around it. This is really, really good. So over here now, when we go to our settings, this gives us our global settings. So this is where we can just go into each and every one uh, level here and add all our settings. Now, if we go back here to how things were before, you'd have to come over here to the settings. Now, notice that we have all this information here. To be honest, when you're here on this page, you want to see uh, the main settings and not really the knowledge uh, base and all of this here because it's not part of the settings. But you know what they've done? They have actually separated all the help stuff and it's in its own tabs. Now it's over here, right here at the top. So you can see here, this is where you'd go for the videos, help and the knowledge base. So this is 
a massive change. And you know what? The team over at Cartflow is really, really uh, putting a lot of work to make it so simple. And I know how difficult it is to simplify the UI of any software. It is a big job. And I really like the way things are looking right now. So moving forward now, I'm not going to be going back and forth. Let's talk about how this looks like moving forward and how easy it's going to be for you to navigate around the new card flows. All right, so I uh, mentioned that this was the uh, settings tab and it has all our links over here. Now, of course, if you really want to go back over here to the side panel, you can go there, but there isn't really a need to go here because everything that we need is right here. Okay, let's take a look at the templates now. Now over here on the templates, and again, it has its own tab and this looks really nice. I also love the fact that you can search through all your templates. So let's say you want to search for your evergreen templates. So notice that when I first start typing here, you all the other templates now are are pretty much out of the way and I'm now left with everything that starts with E V E and this is really really cool and it's so fast and uh, to be honest I don't know if it's uh, I don't know if it's me but it looks like this version of uh, card flows is now even faster than the older version I don't know maybe it's just me but it looks very very fast you can also sync the library here on the right just to make sure you have the updated uh, templates here now if you wanted to add a brand new template or start from scratch, this is how you do it. You click here on this plus button and then you enter your the name of uh, the funnel. So let's call this Mac funnel, for example. And if I say design your flow, it's now redirecting me to uh, give me even more steps on how I should build this. Now, look at this again. This is so clean. It's very, very uh, well thought of. And I like the way uh, this is all laid out. So now I can go into the landing page here on the sales uh, landing. And while I'm here now, look at that. We have a button here which says edit with Divi right away. You know, this is really, really cool. And I can also view it here. Now, when I click view, it opens in a new tab, which means I don't have to go back, you know, back and forth on the tabs here to see what it looks like. So I'd really like, um, I really like this. So if I click here on edit with Divi, notice what happens. This now it takes me into a new interface where I can start designing this uh, sales landing page with Divi. Okay, so when you click here on edit with the Divi Builder, this takes you into uh, the Divi Builder and then you can start designing your page that way. And then back over here, if we go to our settings, this is where we have our short codes. Now notice how simple this is. It is really, really cool. So our sales uh, landing page here has uh, two buttons, the design and the settings. So here is my next link. And here is my general tab where I can go in and uh, set my uh, title. And I can also add my custom script on this particular page. So as you can see, the UI is much, much better. I know it looks quite simple, but I can tell you right now, just by playing around with it, it makes me move around the software much, much easier. It's well thought of. And the next item you are looking for is pretty much right there on the page. And this is really, really, really powerful. And you know what? I would like to say thank you to the Cardflows team. This update is really, really good because as I mentioned earlier on, we can see our stats. We can also navigate around the software much, much easier. And everything that we need is pretty much on the same page until we start designing the actual landing page. And this is where we need to go into a new tab and work with our page builder. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about the new UI design from Cardflows. Leave your comments in the comments box below. See you in the next video. Take care.